Number one, the skills. Secondly, the products. And thirdly, the outcome. Good afternoon. How are you? I am good. Thank you for asking. How are you doing, Ashutosh? Yeah, I'm doing well as well. Thanks for asking. We are connecting after a very long time. Yes, right. Right. So, how have you been? Yeah, I have been fantastic, doing well, and working on my YouTube channel, making conversations. So right. It's been right. a great year, two thousand twenty-three. Mm-hmm. And of course, now I'm enjoying twenty twenty four as well. That's wonderful. And how would you? What about set- you? Like your background has changed. I'm not able to see those flowers. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is because I moved into this new place. Mm-hmm. So this is oh. my studio now. Mm-hmm. I have a I have my own setup here. This is my studio where I teach makeup, where I do makeup for my clients. I also take sessions here. I po I shoot some content for Clapping Woo, for their YouTube, oh, for great. Instagram. So I'm shooting everything here in this one room. Yeah. Okay. So means you are in Delhi, but uh, yes, little far from your house. Yes, absolutely. So you I'm in Delhi you, only. Just you know, are you on rented like you know place? Like yes, this is a rented place. It's mm-hmm. basically a rented, uh, three BHK flat. Hmm. Okay, so now you are working there as a like makeup artist. Yes, makeup artist and trainer. I am more inclined to teaching, so I teach. Yeah, makeup. that's great. And what about your YouTube channel? Uh, are you posting some content nothing, there? Nothing. I think it's been almost one and a half year. I have not posted anything on YouTube. Yeah, but as you do, as you are there in your place, uh, that is specific place for that. Sometimes you can shoot short videos and even though sometimes long. So yeah, I try to. I'm not tricks, able it to. would be good. Yeah, I can understand. It's very difficult when you are in a profession, offline profession, where you have to focus a lot. It becomes very difficult to do something online and creating right. the content. Absolutely, mm-hmm. and also I feel the reels that I post on Instagram. On Instagram, you have the ninety second option, so mm-hmm. my reels are slightly longer. For YouTube, I have to trim and edit the videos because it doesn't allow more than a minute. So that is slightly challenging for me because I talk a lot in my videos. So it's very difficult for me to choose the best part. That okay, which part should I remove? Which one is you know less informative? That is slightly. So don't difficult. like you. You do invest a lot of time in like you know editing. Don't do it. Just go and make raw videos and whatever you do and talk, make it like vlogging kind of thing. Okay. Right. Where you right. don't need a lot of editing. Okay. And don't care that you know you talk a lot or not. Maybe the few people will like it and will get views. So Absolutely. something is better than nothing always. So, That is true. But I'm not being consistent. I'm trying. Yeah, I can and... understand. It's difficult to be. Yes. I'm not doing anything offline. Uh, then also sometimes it becomes very difficult for me to post content. So it happens. Yeah. And also, yeah. I left my job recently. Mm-hmm. So I was working with this makeup artist in Delhi itself. Mm-hmm. So I recently left my job. So it's slightly challenging because my routine has changed entirely. I have my own setup now. So taking the sessions. Teaching makeup plus freelancing. Too many. Yeah, things. now if you have your own setup, then for sure you must invest a lot of time in it because you have rented this three BHK. So it is very important for you to get money out of it so you can <laughs> pay the expenses, right? Yes. Otherwise, like you know, so you have to invest a lot when business or something, whatever it is, it start up in the beginning. You have to invest a lot of time in it, yes. and you have to put a lot of efforts. Absolutely, and you know, and you what have to about work for mm-hmm. twenty four hours a day, twenty four by seven? You have to work. You can't take a break. Nothing. Yeah, exactly. And and what about last year? Were you active on clapping? Go. Uh, I was two thousand twenty three. Not mm-hmm. very regular, but yeah, I used to take sessions like every now and then. Not every single day. On so and what, off. Yes, on and off. Now what I do is, in a week, I take classes for like two days and three days. the remaining days i focus on my content or if i have to go for bookings or if i have my sessions 
because managing everything all together that is not possible yeah exactly it's very difficult to make a like now you are the manager and you have to manage everything then it very it becomes really difficult to manage your 24 hours yes. when you are because it's easy for people who go for like you know work okay that 10 hours they'll go for work and they are able to manage their time at house and because they are not very sincere that they do anything whatever they want but right. when you are the manager you have to manage everything the personal life professional life like you know and everything so it's very difficult i can understand right 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 plus my grandparents are also here my grandmother mm-hmm. was not keeping well so mm-hmm. thankfully she was in chandigarh with my aunt so my aunt was there to take care of her now she's here with us in delhi my and, and what about your grandparents? grandparents yeah both of my grandparents they are here only in delhi with us so i have to you know take care of them take them to the doctors regularly for checkups and everything my grandfather doesn't listen to anybody in the house except for me <laughs> yeah so sometimes you can uh, make videos for his happiness as you yeah. did i did make a video maybe. long back with him with both of my grandparents actually it was a very mm-hmm. like you know short simple video where i was asking them few questions like tell me which is my favorite color so and so yeah <laughs> so and every now and then whenever he is sitting idle i play that video and i show it to him so he really enjoys watching that one video <laughs> yeah of course i still remember even though i have watched that video yeah but now mm-hmm. you know he is also not keeping that well both of them are not that well so most mm-hmm. of the time they are taking rest or they are sleeping so they don't yeah, even can understand they are getting now. older yeah mm-hmm. just eating and sleeping that's it yeah of course it becomes very difficult for the body to perform after 70 or 75 yeah so this is the age where we can do a lot whatever we get in our mind we can execute that but once you are 40 45 50 it becomes really tough to do absolutely so sometimes i play games with them sometimes i'm playing ludo or i show them some videos or we watch a movie together but they don't show that much interest now so it's actually very challenging to convince them let's play a game or let's do this yeah because most of the time i think they must be feeling tired yeah so, mm-hmm. plus i yeah. think now my grandfather specifically he is not even able to process or understand what i am trying to tell him so even if uh, i it takes him, time for yes. him to like you know think about it whatever you tell yes like it takes know. him good 5 to 10 minutes to think to understand what i have asked and his response is no no to everything yes yeah, so what about his age he is 80 or like he what, is he is 80 plus mm-hmm. then for sure of course yeah so sometimes yeah, i know try mm-hmm. to engage and how many hours do you spend uh, at this place like is there any certain time that you open mm-hmm. your this place for ni- at 9 and then get, go back at home Basically, at 5 or 6 for my classes for the sessions that i take here makeup sessions and for the booking i am here from 11 to 6 post yeah, 6 you, i don't you give them training offline yeah. how to do makeup right yes yes makeup and, and sometimes styling. when you get booking for all those things that you have to do that so right it's not certain right because yeah it's not certain so 99.9% of the time i have to go to the venue the destination where oh, you have where, to go to their place yes. where they are getting married or yeah. if there is any function yeah absolutely so it happens very rarely that people come here at the studio usually i only have to travel so then timings are not fixed sometimes i come back around 11 sometimes by 12 also at night so no fixed time yeah of course sometimes you have to stay there also like if it takes very long and a lot of people yeah. ask you to yeah do make up yeah but we specifically you like rented this place for training people right yeah for training also for makeup like you know doing clients and all because traveling yeah, some i mean customers, it of takes course, a lot they of time there, to right? travel yeah mm-hmm. so what happens is everybody wants the artist to be at their place it becomes very easy for them to get ready but for us it's challenging because we have very big heavy bags to carry plus the travel mm-hmm. time to us exactly because so that yeah, is but they are ready to pay that but they want that person to be there right because yes. for them also like you know it's difficult if somebody is getting married so they will go to beauty parlor then they'll come back 
So it's better yeah. for them to have that my makeup artist there and they can make uh, like yes, yes. they can do the makeup. Yeah. That is true, but they're not able to understand that we are also investing our time. You know, we have mm-hmm. to go there, carry the heavy bags. So they're always negotiating that it's okay, you know, do I mean you can charge slightly lesser. So th- that is I mean, I feel it's better if they come here and get their makeup done so that I don't have to do anything extra. Because clients mm-hmm. are not willing to pay extra. Yeah, and second thing, when you are here, like you are the boss, but when you go to somebody's <laughs> place, of course, they can convince you, right? Because you can't say anything in front of them and you can't yeah. be angry. So somehow yes. they will convince you, right? That is also yeah. the thing. Yeah, I can understand. Yeah, but yeah, right. But what happens like when your values like, you know, increases, value increases, then for sure they'll be ready to pay whatever you want, right? It depends yes. on the demand and supply. So when the thing uh, is, you can ask for the money directly, if they'll say that much, you can say no. When the de- de- demand goes high, you can say no to the people, right? Right. If they right. bring you less money. So it's, so it's so, the beginning for you. Mm-hmm. That the, All of that is okay. The problem is that I am a freelancer. So, you know, mm-hmm. for freelancers, the charges are slightly higher because the quality of services that I provide is much, much, much better than any salon or any parlor. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, if you go to any regular parlor, they'll do the same makeup for half the price. Mm. So this is one challenge that, yes. So if I'm charging 5,000 for a makeup, like a party Mm -hmm. makeup, a normal parlor would do it for like 2,000 rupees. And sometimes when there are more people, they'll do it for 1,500 or 1,000 rupees. So what people do is they don't focus on the quality or the result or the outcome. They think, okay, it's cheaper, so we'll, you know, go to this local parlor and get it done. So they're yeah, always negotiating. Mm-hmm. I mean, there are very few people who actually look for the quality service. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they look for the quality service, but compare the prices with the local parlors. That's <laughs> yeah. what they think, right? Yes. Because the same with one-on-one sessions. What people think, like one-on-one session, but they compare your prices to group classes where yes, they go absolutely. Institutions and see that oh okay I get classes there in 500 rupees and 1000 rupees but you are giving a single session but they are not understanding that I am giving the like you know personal time for you only absolutely. if I will be taking a batch of 40 people charging 500 rupees it will be 20,000 rupees an hour right yes that is true but they and don't also, do that calculation yes and also if you are working in a salon or a parlor there's a fixed salary that they give you. It doesn't Mm -hmm. matter if you're doing one makeup, if you're doing 50 makeups or 100 makeups. Salary is fixed. So so, they don't really care mm -hmm. even if they're giving the discount. They're doing makeup for 1500 rupees. That is also profitable. But for Mm -hmm. freelancers, even if we give a little discount, that is a loss because you have to pay to the hairstylist, to the draping artist. You have to pay for the conveyance also for the cab, mm-hmm. for the food. So that is... Yeah, so so yeah. do you go alone or with some, no. like, you know, assistants? And... No, no, I go with... Usually I go with two people, two assistants. Mm-hmm. One is a, a person who's helping me with the makeup, helping me mm-hmm. with the products and packing the products and everything. And the other one is usually a stylist, a hairstylist. Mm-hmm. Because single, yeah. I mean, alone, it's very difficult to do everything all together. Because usually there are four or five people who want to get ready. Yeah, then of course, it's really difficult for sure, of course. Yeah. And and another question, like, you know, why the people, they charge less in local beauty parlor? As you said that you have to charge like 5K and they have to charge only 2K. Why is that yeah. different? See, number one, the skills. Secondly, mm-hmm. the products. And thirdly, mm-hmm. the outcome. So skills, first of all, we have invested our money. We have learned professionally. Those people are not trained professionals. They have just learned makeup from here and there. That's it. So mm. that is what matters. Secondly, the quality of products that they use. I, oh, they I use cheap products. My, yes. When mm-hmm. I started with my journey, I was also working in a salon. It was not a local mm-hmm. salon. It, it's very famous. But the mm-hmm. quality of products that they use, most of them are expired. And they are not good quality. They are local products. They are basically the dupes. So the brand name would yeah. be Mac, but it would, it would be like a local mm-hmm. Mac for 100 rupees, 50 rupees. 
so they don't care about your skin and your they don't care about yeah. the skin they don't care about anything what they do is they'll just charge you so and so and you can get your makeup done that's it even if you get rashes allergy infection after it they don't care they don't wash the brushes zero hygiene is there so they don't care they don't take into consideration that they should also use good quality products Mm-hmm. and if you're using such terrible products obviously the outcome would not that be great no the mm-hmm. result the makeup the finish the glow it would not be there but if we are investing yes. a basic makeup vanity even if you want to have your own vanity it would cost you near about 50 to 80000 a simple vanity with few mm-hmm. high end products salons can't invest that much in a vanity their vanity would be for like 5 6000 rupees So obviously, mm. if I am using a ten thousand rupees foundation on my client, I would want the client to pay me that much. Exactly, that is all about the honesty. They don't want to go for. Of course, and the people they don't focus on that long term thing that they would yeah. get some like you know allergies or some skin problems, and maybe then they would pay, but they don't care about it. Absolutely. So, yes, you are right, but people are not able to understand. So for that, you have to like you know. enhance your value and work really hard and build the trust in people that whatever yes. you work and whatever the products you use that is really genuine so then only the people they would be ready to pay that much Absolutely. and what i feel like you know for that that's what i'm saying to you to make content on social media it will help you a lot for sure because <laughs> once you are on social <laughs> media people will start like you know contacting you through those like you know platforms and when you will uh, write something on the community post maybe in delhi also you'll get a lot of customers and they'll be ready to pay that much whatever you want and they would maybe like you know give the all the cost of traveling also if they they yes. invite you yeah so, some clients are really very good say don't they don't you know negotiate or bargain when it comes to the prices but then you know there are always a few people who are always negotiating comparing your services to other people but i mean i'm trying let's see how it goes